Welcome to this segment of Splost Up to the Minute Update. I'm Commissioner Mitchell. Now today, we've got a couple of updates on where your Splost penny is being spent. We're gonna go to a couple of topics, so stay with me, but also I've got some special guests with me, so you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah, my name's Terry Gable. I am with Moral and Altability, and I'm the program manager for the uh, Douglas County Splos Program. Good. Um, I'm David Good. I'm the communications director for the Splos. Okay, let's get this thing moving pretty quick, because these yes, updates sir. are kind of gonna move pretty quick. So we wanna tell people exactly where their Splos dollars are being spent, starting with Parks and Rec. Uh, well, Parks and Rec, so overall, the program is about a $106 million program. For the six years, Parks and okay. Rec's got seventeen million, seventeen million uh, dollars of that. Okay. Uh, we're standing on the side of one of the bigger projects for the multi-purpose rec center. We're at Boundary Waters, by the way, just in case yep. you didn't know. And where this this particular facility is right now under preliminary design, and we're looking at a couple schemes, but that's moving forward. Just up the road here uh, in the park is the uh, soccer field and football field uh, concession building. Got you. So that's another uh, big project for the park. So okay. everything's moving right, right along. We spent about $10 million in the program so far. Um, a good bit of that money was in fire, started out with, was in fire department and in transportation. Uh, in the fire, we've got the countywide digital radio system that we're working on. Okay. Uh, it's moving along quite well. It's about 23% done. Uh, transportation, a lot of that has been in, in resurfacing and in some intersection projects that we're doing. So the program is moving along very well. Uh, the revenues are coming in up. That's, that's, that's been great. That's a good thing. Yes, yeah. so we, we're, we're um, kind of at roughly we've got a, a higher, a, a bigger return on, on the, the penalty spot. So maybe people are spending more dollars. And yeah, so, okay, looks like the good. economy's picking up. Hopefully that'll be a trend that'll continue. Okay. June was right at $2.2 .2 million. So that was above our projections got and it. we're hoping that's going to continue. Okay, so let's let's talk about the Senior Citizen Center. I mean, David. Uh, yes, yeah, so, well, okay. with the Senior Center, Center is going to be, of course, here in, in Lithia Springs and it's going to be on a site over there by one of the fire stations Correct. right behind um, I believe it's Cornerstone Baptist Church. And and that's coming along pretty good? Oh, that's coming along actually very well where now we're into the form of actually engaging the public physically right there in their face. Um, if you go over on at Cornerstone Baptist Church we will have a public engagement meeting on September 6th okay. and then one month later on October 4th we'll also have a meeting over at uh, First Baptist in Lithia Springs in order for the people to tell us what do they want to see in this senior center. Got it. This way they'll get a chance to at least identify some things they would like to see in the center. Correct. Uh, they can kind of talk about the makeup of the center and what kind of even program we might want to have at the center, correct? Right, because then one thing that we do know is that they, we've heard they mm -hmm. do not want the same thing that's already at Woody Fight. So they want, which is the existing senior center, they want to have something that is going to be unique, maybe even to the citizens here. So that's why their input is very valuable. Okay, so we need that. So yes, sir. give us those dates again so we can um, make sure It's we going to be September 6th over at Cornerstone Baptist Church and then October 4th over at First Baptist in Lith of Lithia Springs. Okay, one last piece, sidewalks. I mean, there was a couple of sidewalks project that was going on, so. Yep. I know we the, got a couple of, we got about a minute, okay. All right. Part of uh, the SPLOS program is try to identify schools that were missing sidewalk. Okay. Gaps in sidewalks. Okay. So we do have uh, three projects currently at New Manchester High, Lithia Springs, and uh, Chestnut yes. Middle to uh, do some, add some more sidewalks in those areas. And okay. And get so kids those, on sidewalks instead of, and off the grass and off the paths. So those projects are coming right along pretty They're in design stage. Okay. Uh, right now we're out doing some preliminary work with surveying, so it's coming along fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we miss anything? Uh, no, just uh, just make sure you keep on going to your local store, spend local, <laughs> keep it going. And if you have any questions or whatever, you can always visit our website at 2016splots.com. Give that again. 2016splots, 2016splots.com. Again, thank you for this quick up-to-the-minute splots update. And keep in mind, we'll keep this ongoing, and you'll see exactly where your splash dollars are being spent. Again, I'm Commissioner Mitchell, and again, thank you to my guests. Thank you. And thank we'll you. catch up uh, on the next round. Have a great day.